Hey, Alice. It's Susie, your brother's fiance. Oh, hi, Susie. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. I actually just wanted to talk to you about something. Sure. What's on your mind? Well, I've thought that since I'm new to this area and I don't really know anyone here, it might be a good idea for me and Patrick to stay with you and your family for a little while before the wedding. Stay with us? I mean, I don't think we have enough room for that. Yeah, I know it might be a bit of an inconvenience, but I think it would be a great opportunity for me to get to know everyone in the family better before I officially become part of it. Plus, it would make wedding planning a lot easier if I'm closer by. Hmm, well, if you're really set on that, there's a house for sale opposite ours. It's actually really nice and has a garden and a pool, so it could be perfect for you and Patrick. Buy another house? I don't think that's really feasible for us right now. What do you mean? Well, I don't just want to live close by. I want to live under the same roof as the rest of the family. I feel like that would give me a better understanding of everyone's personalities, habits, way of life. I've actually been really impressed and have felt really close to everyone in the family since our first meeting last week. I see. Well, I understand your desire to get to know us better, but I'm afraid our house is not big enough to accommodate two extra people. Oh, come on, Alice. It's just for a little while, and we'll be out of your hair before you know it. But we have no more empty rooms here. And Susie, I'm a bit confused. Why are you suddenly interested in living with us? Yeah, I know it sounds sudden, but I just want to be closer to everyone, that's all. I mean, you and Patrick are happy planning to move back to New Jersey after the wedding, aren't you? So I don't think it's necessary to move in with my family. Plus, normally when you come over to my house, you don't seem to like my family very much, so I don't think it's your real reason. Oh, I'm embarrassed to say it. But the thing is, I was recently laid off from my job, and with the current economic situation, Patrick's salary has been cut in half. We're facing some financial difficulties, and we've had trouble paying rent. We even got evicted by our landlord. Oh my goodness. But why didn't Patrick tell us? Patrick has been working his butt off since he was 18 because he wanted a house of his own. He even has an emergency fund for situations like this. Patrick is a man of high self-esteem. He was embarrassed to confess to his family that he was a failure, so he didn't tell anyone. And actually, this situation has been going on for several months. So Patrick's emergency fund has also been exhausted. It's been going on for a while now, and we thought it would be more affordable if we lived with his family. Oh, now I understand what you're talking about. But why didn't Patrick text me himself? He's too shy to open up, so I'm texting you instead to see if it's possible for us to stay together. I understand your circumstances right now, but I'm so sorry that I can't help you this time. We have no more empty rooms. We are a family. As a big sister, you have to take care of your brother and sister-in-law, right? Please help me out with this, please. Well, then we only have the basement. Are you sure? I remember that there was a room on the second floor that was always locked, right? It could be enough for two more people. Wait, how do you know there's always a locked room on the second floor? Don't you always stay on the first floor whenever you come over? And if you know that room is locked, does that mean you've been to other rooms many times? <laughs> it seems like you always underestimate me. I'm not someone who can be bullied easily, but don't worry. I'm just going to take a look at your room. There's nothing valuable to steal. By the way, can I give you a little advice? You should change your dressing style. Your wardrobe looks really outdated. Like old lady clothes. <laughs> I can't believe you're so rude. You can't just barge into someone's room. Come on, Alice, don't be like that. I'm just trying to help you out with your wardrobe. You know I'm always honest with you, right? You're 30 years old and you still don't have a boyfriend. How long are you gonna live off your parents? It's time for you to get married and move out of the house. Susie, how dare you talk to me like that? My life is none of your business. And what's wrong with being single at 30? I'm focusing on my career right now. I don't need to rely on a man to support me or move out of my own house. And my parents are happy to have me here. So you can keep your unsolicited advice to yourself. Okay, okay, no need to get defensive. 
I was just curious, that's all. But seriously, why is that room always locked and unusable? Do you have a secret stash of money or treasures in there? Or maybe you're doing something illegal. Please stop with your ridiculous thoughts, Susie. It's Anna's room, and it's not my place to disclose anything about it. And for the record, we are not doing anything illegal. Oh, really? Then why does Anna have two rooms while I have none? It would be much easier if we could just ask her for a room. She's much easier to talk to than you are, Alice. I like her a lot more than I like you. Although, I have to say she looks like a bit of a nerd with those thick glasses and long sleeve shirts. <laughs> We're in the middle of summer. It's hard to believe that Patrick has sisters like you guys. You're all so... homely. You're always acting like you're the boss and being difficult. And the other sister is so antisocial, always just hiding in her room like a zombie. Wait a minute, Susie. How dare you insult my sister like that and make rude comments about my personal life? Who are you to judge me? And why do you keep on insisting on living with us when it's clear we're not compatible roommates? Oh, Alice, don't be so sensitive. I was just joking around. Can't you take a joke? Now I understand why no man is paying attention to you. You have no sense of humor. And as for living with you, it's not like we have a lot of other options. Besides, we're a family now. You should be more welcoming and hospitable to your future sister-in-law. Susie, I don't think it's a good idea for us to live together. If we're already quarreling like this without even living together, it's likely that more bad things will happen if we do live together. So, to prevent our relationship from getting worse, you and Patrick should rent a hotel to stay at. I can help cover part of the rental cost. But I don't want to live in a cheap motel. If you really want to help us, you should let us stay under the same roof with you. No, Susie. After your outrageous words about Anna and me, the answer will definitely be no. Wait, so you didn't want us to move in from the beginning and were just trying to send us away? Are you trying to find an excuse not to let me in? I know what you're doing. Is it because you think I'll be a burden to your family since I'm unemployed right now? But don't forget, I'm going to be your brother's wife soon. And as your future sister-in-law, you should help us out. Susie, I'm not trying to find an excuse not to let you in, but after your behavior towards me and my sister, I don't think it's a good idea for us to live together. As for your unemployment, that's not the issue here. The main concern is the tension between us and the potential for more conflict if we live together. Huh. Excuses. I know the true reason already. Oh, please. Enough arguing. I think we should stop the conversation here before it gets too far. Ugh. This is not over yet. Hey, Alice. How's the trip going for everyone? Patrick told me that you, Anna, and your parents are visiting your grandparents in the countryside for a few days right? Are they doing well? Um, everything's been great so far. Why do you ask? Is there something you need? No, I just wanted to let you know that I've arrived at my new place. I'm the only one here today because Patrick's been on a business trip for a week. Wait, what? You guys got a new place? That's awesome. Where is it? You're so silly. <laughs> I moved in to live under the same roof as you, of course. What? You moved in without telling anyone? That's a pretty big decision to make on your own, Susie. Wait, did you pick today to move on purpose because you knew nobody would be home? I mean, you keep on refusing to share the house with me, so I have no choice but to take things into my own hands. How sly of you, Susie. I can't believe you found a way to break in like this. Get out of my house right now. I'll text Patrick to tell him about your crazy, impolite, and inappropriate behavior. <laughs> Don't bother. Do you think I got the key to the house for nothing? I can't believe you would stoop so low as to take a key to my house without permission. That's not just inappropriate, it's illegal. Relax, Alice. I didn't take anything. Patrick gave me a spare key when he left for his business trip last week. He knew I was planning on moving in with you and thought it would be a good surprise. That's not his decision to make. And it's still not okay just to barge into my home unannounced. I understand that you're upset, but you have to admit that we've talked about me moving in with you before. And you always said that you'd think about it. 
Susie, I think there may have been some misunderstanding between us. I never said I would consider you moving in with me. In fact, I'm pretty sure I told you clearly that we couldn't live together. That means you can't just take matters into your own hands and invade my privacy like this. Chill out. I won't step into your room. I've already explored every corner in there anyway. But I want to discover all the nooks and crannies of this house. I was in a hurry the last few times, so I snuck up here, so I haven't seen much. I'm especially excited about the secret room. I have no idea what's in there, and from now on, it should be called Susie's Room. Oh, no, Susie. Anna doesn't like anyone to enter her room without her permission. You shouldn't mess with her. Plus, I don't think Patrick has the key to the secret room to give to you. Well, that's not a problem. I called a locksmith to change the lock. Anyway, I've already packed my things here. You can't just kick me out or force me to sleep in a basement full of cockroaches and rats with a musty smell, right? Oh my god. What are you thinking, Susie? Are you going to break down the door to get into the secret room? Stop it right now. Otherwise, I'll have to call the police and report you for trespassing. Come on, Alice. I'm not a criminal. I won't break the door down. I just want to make myself at home. After all, I'll be part of the family soon. So let's just say I'm warming up to my new room, okay? You're going down the wrong path. I know very well why you're always trying to kick me out of the house. I've done my homework, and I know exactly what you and Anna are up to. What do you mean? Your plan to take over this house and cut Patrick and me out of the picture. You and Anna are conspiring to control this property and reap the profits when the land price skyrockets. But I won't let that happen. That's preposterous. We have no such intentions. Oh, spare me the lies. You can't fool me. I'm onto your game, and I won't back down. I have every right to live in this house as a daughter-in-law, and you can't just exclude me. You're not even married yet, Susie. You're just engaged to Patrick. And you're not entitled to any part of this property. You think you can intimidate me with technicalities? Think again. I'm not afraid to fight for what's rightfully mine. And if you and Anna continue to try and push me out, I'll make sure you regret it. I won't let you and your scheming ways take advantage of my future family. You're such a drama queen, Susie. Oh, the locksmith has arrived. Now it's time for me to explore my room. So excited. No, that's Anna's room. You can't go in there. No, you can't do that. Anna will go crazy over this. Listen to me. Don't do anything. Anna is not as harmless as she seems. If you want to touch her stuff, you need to ask for her permission first. Otherwise, you'll regret it. <laughs> what can she do to me? Trust me, you don't want to find out. Just stay away from her stuff and we'll all be better off. <laughs> She's just a worthless idiot. What could she possibly do to scare me? You think you know everything, Susie? But you have no idea what you're getting into. She may seem harmless, but she's not someone to mess with. Oh, please, spare me the lecture. I'm just trying to settle into my new home. You have no right to invade Anna's privacy like that. She's been through enough without having to deal with your selfishness. Selfishness? I'm just claiming what's rightfully mine. And I don't need your permission to explore this house. You're making a big mistake, Susie. Anna is not just some pushover. She's been through more than you can imagine, and she won't hesitate to defend herself. I'm not afraid of her. I'll do whatever I want in this house. Oh my god! Why are there so many high-tech electronics in this room? <laughs> There's nothing precious that needs to be locked. And yet you act like this contains treasures or jewelry. It's Anna's office. Anna is a programmer, so she has a lot of expensive tech equipment to use for her work. Those machines contain programs that Anna put a lot of effort into writing. So please don't touch them, or Anna's work will be lost. Oh, don't be so selfish, okay? I just want to take a look. You better not. Each program is worth a few hundred thousand dollars, and if something happened to them, Anna would definitely get mad. Get out of there now before something bad happens. <laughs> Don't worry. In the end, 
Anna's just a nerdy, crazy little girl who doesn't know how the world works and just huddles in her room with meaningless numbers and letters. You are so arrogant, Susie. You have no respect for Anna or her work. Do you even realize how much effort Anna put into those programs? You're just too ignorant to appreciate anything that's not materialistic. And don't underestimate Anna's abilities. She's not just a crazy little girl. She's a brilliant programmer who could ruin your life if she wanted to. You're just trying to scare me, Alice. I don't believe any of it. Oh, the screen is so big. Maybe it would be nice if I watched movies with this monitor. I have to prepare more popcorn and soda to enjoy the movie here. What? Stop that stupid idea. Anna hates the smell of food in the office. And if you bring water in, it can damage the equipment in the room. Oh, come on, don't make things so complicated. I'm just turning on the movie. I won't touch your crappy programs. Susie, you are being incredibly disrespectful and irresponsible. Anna's work is not crappy programs. Her programs are what make her successful and valuable in her field. But I'm just trying to relax and have some fun. What's the big deal? OMG, Alice, everything is exploding here. Exploding? What do you mean? I was trying to watch a movie and had a glass of soda, but you kept texting me and distracting me, so I accidentally spilled it into the electrical outlet. And now everything is short out and exploding. Literally exploding. Oh no. What have you done? This is a disaster. You need to take responsibility for your actions and fix this immediately. Don't blame me. It's your fault for distracting me with all those texts. If you hadn't been bothering me, I wouldn't have spilled the water. That's ridiculous. You are the one who spilled the water and caused this damage. I even warned you many times before. You need to take responsibility for your actions and I need to tell Anna what happened right away. Oh no, she's blowing a fit right here. And she said she would return home right now to talk to you and you'll have to pay for your unforgivable behaviors. Are you serious? What can she do to me? Put me in jail or something? Do you want me to pay for her expensive gadgets? What kind of expensive stuff is in there? I'm sure they're just useless crap that breaks quickly. And I don't have any money anyway. That's not what we should be talking about right now. You need to get out of the house right now. My parents and I won't be back for a while, so we can't protect you. Run away before Anna comes back. Huh? What are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? Just trust me this one time. I'm trying to help you. I can't even begin to imagine what Anna will do to you. What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't get it. Just leave the house, okay? No, don't try to fool me anymore. I won't be fooled by you again. You're just trying to scare me so you can have the house to yourself, right? This really sucks. I tried to warn you so many times, but you just wouldn't listen to me. If something happens, don't blame me. Of course. Wait. What's going on outside? I heard there are a bunch of rough-looking people on motorcycles stopping in front of the house. Are they your relatives? Oh no. Here they come. Wait. That leader is... Is that Anna? Why does she look so different? She's wearing a leather jacket without two sleeves, but her arms are covered in tattoos. She's wearing heavy makeup and has a weird undercut with lots of piercings on her face and ears. Well... Now you're getting to see the real Anna. Oh my god, she told those gangsters that after she found me, she would pull all the hair out of my head and beat me up. Oh no, they're all armed and breaking into the house. I don't like the feeling they bring to me. I have to get out of here. You should have listened to me in the first place. I'm hiding in your closet. Didn't you say she's just a programmer? How could she be associated with gangsters? Are you sure she didn't do anything illegal? She's already yelling out every cuss word I've ever heard and more. I seriously can't imagine her sitting in a desk coding no matter how hard I try. No, Anna is indeed a programmer, but at the same time, she is a member of a motorcycle gang. Why might that be? Why have I never heard of this? She's been a part of the group since high school. As a child, Anna was bullied and even suffered from sexual harassment by a teacher but she didn't tell anyone about it because she was scared and didn't want to worry her parents. But what does that have to do with this gang? Well, after suffering from severe depression and attempting suicide, 
Anna met the gang one night when she was about to run away. She shared her story with them, and they helped her get revenge on those who had hurt her. They also taught her how to become stronger and protect herself. But wouldn't your parents object to their daughter associating with criminals? They're not criminals, Susie. After Anna became mentally stable, she talked to her parents and they were very supportive of her joining the gang. They're good friends of my sister, and they've helped her become a happier, stronger person who has overcome her dark memories. She's so cool, isn't she? What the heck? Oh no! They're searching for me! Alice, please come and save me. I'm on my last legs. She spots me. I'll for sure be kicking the bucket today. What's more, I can hear her angry voice right through your bedroom walls. But like I told you, my parents and I are quite far from the house. We won't be coming back in the next few days. Actually, we just decided to stay here a bit longer. So you better try to survive on your own. It's the time to see how much of a genius you really are. Don't let me down, Susie. Just try your best, though I know 100% that you're the loser. <laughs> you can't do this to me. We are family. You certainly don't want to see your brother lose his wife, do you? Please come and save me from death as fast as you can. It's seriously a matter of life and death. Oh no, I can hear they are coming to my place. I don't want to die yet. Alice, I'm sorry for everything I did. Please just give me one opportunity to make up for my mistake. I'm begging you! In fact, I had the police come to my house to save Susie. They arrived and found Susie in the house. I heard them say, when they got there, Anna and the others got into the room so Susie got hit a few times by my sister. However, because Susie's act of trespassing was illegal, Anna's retaliation was considered an act of self-defense. Susie was arrested for illegal entry and destruction of property. She tried to explain to the police that she had a key and that she was staying there with Alice's brother, but the police found no evidence to support her claim. As a result, Susie spent the night in jail and was released on bail the next day, and she had to pay a huge compensation fee. Luckily, Anna had always stored backup versions of her works on a USB, so nothing was lost. My brother Patrick was shocked to find out about Susie's actions and decided to break up with her. He couldn't believe that she would go to such extremes to keep the house. My family was relieved that the situation was finally resolved. We were happy to see justice served, but we were also sad for Patrick. I tried to reach out to him and offer him support during this difficult time. In the end, my family moved back into the house and started a new chapter in their lives. We were grateful for each other and the love that they shared. Although the incident with Susie was a difficult one, we learned to appreciate the simple things in life and cherish the moments we had together.